Okay, so this is going to go for all Samsung Galaxy phones, all your S series, your uh, Notes, your A series, your J series. Basically, you want to move everything from your, move the contents over from your Samsung Galaxy phone to your new iPhone. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really, really easy. And in this case here, we need no wires or anything, okay? And just for this example, but I'm using an older Samsung Galaxy S4 here, okay? I'm going to transfer everything over to my iPhone 6S. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be using an app called the uh, Move to iOS, and I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing is first, okay? In regards to your iPhone, if you're moving everything to your iPhone, you basically have to be in the uh, setup process on your iPhone. If not... Um, then you basically need to do a factory reset on your iPhone and then you start back over, okay? So I just did a factory reset on this phone here and then let me start going through the process here and I'll show you where um, where we have to stop at, okay? So let me just go through here. Um, disable this. Gonna move that later. I'm gonna do all this stuff later. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a password here. Okay, so now when you get to here on your iPhone uh, apps and data, of course you can restore from your uh, iCloud or iTunes, or you can just set it up as a new phone, or you can move data from an Android or move it from your Samsung Galaxy phone. So we're gonna choose move data from Android. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna click on continue here. And then, well, let me go back here. Okay, so so when I click on Move Data from Android, it says down here, uh, you know, if you have an Android or tablet, you can transfer photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. And it says, download the Move to iOS app on your Android device. So go to your Google Play Store on your Samsung Galaxy phone and uh, look for Move to iOS. Then download it and then open it up, okay? And once you open it, we're going to go through this process here really fast. We're going to agree here. Find the code. We're going to click on next, okay? So now we want some kind of code. Now we're going to click on continue on our iPhone here. And here's the code, okay? Now this is a 10-digit number. It's only giving me six spaces. So obviously I have to click on this right here. Uh, it says uh, I have a 10-digit code. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to enter the code here. And then give it a second to connect. Now the thing is, you can tran I mean, you'll be able to transfer all of your contacts, all of your uh, text messages, uh, basically your SMS uh, text messaging, uh, all your photos and videos, your bookmarks. Also, you'll be able to move your all of your uh, Gmail accounts over as well. The only thing with the Gmail accounts is when it'll move everything over, but it will not um, transfer all your passwords over either. Um, or it won't pa it won't transfer your password, so you'll have to um, you know input all your passwords for all your Gmail accounts uh, in your iPhone. So th give this a second here. Okay, so now the uh, Okay, so it says transfer data here. It says choose what you would like to copy to your iPhone, okay? So the Google account, which is, of course, a, a Gmail account. All my Gmail accounts I want moved over. All my text messages I want moved over. Uh, you have calendars. Uh, move, uh, you have a camera roll, which is your photo and videos. Uh, you also have, a, you, you'll have contacts in here and things like that if you have it on the phone. Obviously, I don't have my contacts in my phone. I have it on my Gmail account, okay? So the, uh, the other options aren't going to show up here for me. But anyways, you pick and choose what you want and what you don't want. I'll just pick all these here. I'll go ahead and click on next here and wait for it to uh, transfer everything over. Okay, it's the... Transfer is finally complete. Okay, so this right here is done. Now what's what's happening now is uh, my iPhone is rearranging all the items now, okay? And that took a long time. I didn't realize how much 
how many videos I had in here. This is my, I have a tons of YouTube videos in here uh, when I use this to record my YouTube videos before. So it's like tons and tons of old videos. So I'll give this a second here to uh, move everything into place. And then once it's done, it's going to, it basically it's going to start where we left off at during the uh, the setup process. So we'll give this a few seconds. Anyways, I mean, basically uh, what this is going to do too now is it's going to move all of my uh, text text messages. I mean, some of the stuff I didn't have in here. I didn't have contacts in here, so it didn't give us an option for contacts. And that's because I had my contacts linked to my, my Gmail. It wasn't actually in my phone memory, not in my internal memory, okay? So it didn't give me the option. But if you have contacts in there, um, obviously it'll give you the option to move your contacts, text messages, all your photos, your videos, your bookmarks, your calendars, uh, also your Gmail accounts too. But like I said before, it, it won't transfer over the password, so you'll have to um, put in all your passwords for all your Gmail accounts once it's like done transferring. Okay, wow, it's finally done like moving, but now I'm just going to click on the continue setting up the iPhone, and it starts off here at your uh, iPhone or your Apple ID. And then once you go through the setup process, and of course, all your information that you transferred will be on your iPhone. And so, so this is definitely uh, pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, comment below. If you guys share, like, subscribe, that'll be great. All right, thanks. Bye.